I thought I'd quickly show you how to make sure you can play a drum machine. Now we've been through and we've discussed how to ensure that your track's set up to receive MIDI information just by clicking the track arm button on and off. But if we put a new MIDI track in and we'll go to the drums and select a drum machine. So we've got a 909 loading up slowly. Um, sometimes depending on where we have the octave range uh, even if we have this track arm button if we press the keys on the keyboard it won't play the samples in the drum machine so I'm pressing the A key at the moment and nothing's happening on the drum machine that's because if we take a look down down here the drum machines can have around 128 samples I think each drum machine can hold in and in these Ableton presets we only have a certain amount so we've we've got like 16 in that and we can see where the samples are on here by them being lit up or being white now when I'm pressing the A key if we take a look at the drum machine down here we can see that it is receiving MIDI information we can see you know when I press a key it's lighting up but if we look where which note it's actually playing it's just there the blue key so that's above all the samples so that means we're in an octave too high so what we need to do is press Z key to move down an octave and now when I press A it plays the first or the last drum sample or the last row so I'm still too high so I need to go down the octave again so press Z again and now we're playing the first sample so just make sure that you're in the right octave um, when we change octaves, so Z and X, we can see that down here, it displays the octave. Um, so usually, I think it's it's around C3 to D4. I think more samples are usually around there. But either way, come over, press a key, um, double click on the instrument title so we can see the drum machine, press a key and just look for where where's lighting up in this area of the drum machine. If it's above you know you need to go down an octave, if it's below you need to go up, so Z and X. And that's how you know to play a drum machine. The other thing to note is if I move up the key, so that's A, the next key is S, and if you notice it's jumping from the kick to the snare that's because we're using the black keys as well so if I want to play this rim shot I need to press W 